bulletin this hour, Jay Israel has admitted that he risked his reputation and millions of people who trusted and looked up to him as a truthful and resilient leader for useless things. He says along the way he compromises integrity and dignity for vanity and now he's prepared to right the wrongs. The back to Christ movement, the fact that I make mistakes does not mean that I'm, I'm going to stop liberating you because I know that you are blind. I've seen things that you have never seen with your eyes. And from today, don't defend me. If you hear anything about me, don't defend me. Only God who called me for this assignment, only God who called me for this mission shall be my defense. Only God who called me for this assignment shall vindicate me. All I can say is God shall vindicate. In his comeback message on his official platform, Jay says, quote, I have made many mistakes over the past months, some of which I learned a lot from, and some ended me in prison. But I want everyone who once instilled their trust in me, the kind of man I was and the kind of man I am now. As young as I am, I have tried to do everything within my power with the help of the Holy Spirit to do the right things and live right, but it's not as easy as it seems to be. I would like to put on record that there are many people I have wronged and let down through my actions, speech, and behavior, but I believe that through the grace and love of Christ, all shall be well in due time, and I shall be at peace with everyone." Unquote. Jay says the only way to earn the trust of people is to come clean about his past and his shortfalls and preach the true gospel with a pure heart. Jacob Dube says he does not want to go to the grave with a heart full of pain, grief, hatred, and anger. As I believe I do not have much time left for me to be alive, I would not allow myself to go to rest with a heart full of pain, grief, hatred, anger, amongst other things. This is not a note, but a message that will help my generation to understand the times. This is heartwarming for J. Israel to accept, to come clean and change his ways. But is this just another J. gimmick or it's a reformed J. Israel? J. sees his audience as tools, as mechanisms to manipulate everybody else. He sees his audience as a way to seek validation. This is a character of a narcissist. This character that is displaying here. And it goes back with everything that we've been mentioning is that he, he doesn't feel the need to be accountable to anyone. He's back to Christ. He started it well. He started it with a good heart and good intentions. But along the way, something went wrong. And I believe that he will go back um on track tons of comments graced this statement questioning his integrity and genuineness owing to the fact that jay had made similar statements in the past and things have gone south how sure is a follower this is a new jay israel that can be trusted it remains yet to be seen what we'll be discussing three months from hence